Friends, let's get back to basics today. I am talking about Android One, Android Go and stock Android. We use this these words so often. This is a stock Android phone. This is an Android One phone. This phone is on Android Go. But do you really understand the difference between three OSs? These are all Android, but they are slightly different. In this video, I am going to unravel the mystery. It's not mystery so much as little differences. But before we move forward, friends, if you have not subscribed to our channel, make sure you do that. Convert that red button into grey and the bell icon. First up, let's talk about stock Android. Stock Android essentially is what is shipped with all the Pixel phones. It is pure Android, it is virgin Android. There are no changes whatsoever by anything. So Android, if you have to benchmark what Android is, it can start with stock Android. All the settings, all the features and everything is pure what is shipped by Google. Most importantly though, it does not have any third party apps. Stock Android, all the apps are from Google and Google alone. And then there is a question of security updates, patches, yeah, everything of that sort. And Stock Android gets it first. And because Stock Android is only on Pixel phones, they are the first to get the updates of Android. So for example, right now Pixel phones are on Android P and Android Q is going to come first on Pixel phones. While well, Android launched in 2008 because it came in variety of hardware, different smartphones, by the time it was about four, five years old, there was so much of fragmentation, Google decided they are going to come out with Android One. Android One essentially is again stock Android, but on phones from other manufacturers like Huawei, Honor, Sham Samsung, Xiaomi and everyone else. Android One was launched with big fanfare at their I.O. conference in 2014 and a lot of people were talking about it. We, the media, online media were going gaga over it and we thought a lot of phones are going to come on Android One. But within one year, everyone knew that Android One is not happening. Android One was not getting popular and the reason somehow smartphone manufacturers wanted their own UI. But let me talk about what Android One was. Essentially, it is stock Android given to manufacturers. They can install their own apps on it, but these are uninstallable apps. Rest everything remains to be Android. Biggest part is updates are given by Google and not by the manufacturer. And Android One has a guarantee. All the phones that are on Android One has a guarantee that they are going to get updates for next two years and security patches for three years. So updates are guaranteed for a certain amount of time and that guarantee comes from Google. So while I've spoken about stock Android, then Android One, and then I'm going to talk about Android Go, but there is something in the middle. You know, there are OSs that are stock Android, which manufacturers say, for example, from ASUS, Zenfone Max Pro M1. If you go to their update screen, you will see Zen UI. There are certain features of Zen UI on it. Probably ASUS wanted to tell people that this is a stock Android phone. It is not a Zen UI phone, but still they added certain features which are minimal. So you can say it is kind of forked stock Android with not much of changes. Those are the phones which you can't say that they are Android one, you can't say it's stock Android, you can't say it's Android Go. It's something right in the middle. And I think that this is a good way of doing things. A lot of people, I mean, Xiaomi has tried it, OnePlus has tried it, whether you want RUI or stock Android. And about 70-80% people always say that they want stock Android. It's a pure version. So a little tweak here and there, most of them will not mind it. You know, consumers like you and me will not mind it. We would love it. We'll still call it stock Android. You tell us what do you think? Because I think if smartphone manufacturers do this, you know, tweak little bit of features, but keep the original flavor of stock Android, it would be great. But there is a but here. The updates are going to be pushed by ASUS and not by Google. That's why it is not stock Android, it is not Android One. It is slightly forked version and the updates are going to come from the manufacturer and not from Google so you're not guaranteed whether you're going to get it on time or not. And now let me talk about Android Go. They are basically for entry level phones, toned down version of stock Android. So you get about 90% features but all the heavy apps from Google, for example, Maps, YouTube, and other apps, they are basically toned down versions. Feature is watered down. The features on these apps are watered down and they can easily work on even phones with 512 MB RAM or up to one GB RAM. So entry level phones, which cost about 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 rupees, 
tend to have it. But there is a huge difference when it comes to updates. Yes. OEM push the updates and not Google. So when it comes to Android Go, you're not really guaranteed that you're going to get updates or you're not guaranteed you'll get timely updates. You may or may not, but it, it, this one is basically a watered down stock Android for phones that are entry level with lower resources, lower RAM, lower storage. Also one more thing, Android Go does not take too much of space. When a normal Android system is installed on a normal phone, then it takes about two and a half, three GB. Whereas this is about one, one and a half GB generally in that range. You know, I know this was a very basic video, but I wanted to get this out there to you guys. A lot of people on our Hindi channel. If you have not subscribed to our Hindi channel, you can if you know Hindi. So a lot of people ask me and that's why this video, I wanted to do this a quick video where you understood what Android Go, Android One and stock Android is and what are the differences. So friends, that's about it in this video. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you have still forgotten to subscribe us, make sure you do with that bell icon. If you want to share this video and let people know about Android, the different variants, versions, flavors of Android, make sure you do. So friends, that's about it in this video. Until next time, keep tracking.